of Sword and Fairy. I want to try this out because, you know, it, why not? You know, why not try out some, something new? I like this is a variety stream. We like to try and try things new here. Um, is it, from, I don't know anything about this this game. From what I've researched, it's considered like the, the franchise, not this game in particular, but the franchise is considered one of the best Chinese RPGs ever made. My experience with Chinese RPGs include Gujian um, 3, which I play on PC, um, Bloody Spill, which I also play on PC, and Swords Legends Online. Well, that's basically all I have my experience when it comes to like a, these, uh, I, I want to say Three Kingdoms era style um, games from China. So going in, I'm expecting to play kind of similar to, to Gujian 3 and, and Swords of Legends. You know, hopefully it's not some kind of like just low budget all the crap. You know, because it kind of looks like it's, it's definitely not trying to like, you know, shock you with its graphics. So, we'll see. I'm hoping for the best when it comes to this game. So we're going to play this. This is just a demo. So we're going to play it until we beat the demo and do this real quick. Mouse, put that over there. Greedy black people. Join a party and no one's saying shit. Definitely getting Gucci and Bob's already from this dude. We didn't get a language option, so I'm assuming this can be like just automatically in Chinese, which is fine. One thing I noticed about Swords Legends Online, Chinese, the, the English voice after that game was fucking awful. Gucci is okay, but I'll, I'll put it on there. Right. Yeah, I'm definitely getting like big Gucci and vibes. I'm sure they, they kind of like copy each other. Gucci is also considered one of the greatest Chinese MMOs. I'm sure when it comes to like the competition in China, those two are. Competing with, with each other, kind of like how you, you know Dragon Age compete with Elder Scrolls, or how Halo compete with a Crisis. You know, we got to do a, um, a long press, then hit A to jump further. Interesting. Okay. There's no actual like double jump. You have to like just hold the stick and then jump. A little different. I'm getting like a, a pseudo linear fiction open world feeling from this game already. Nice. Um, fucking big nice. Definitely a nice skybox. I hear voices. People are here. I came to the party and say, Greetings, black people. No one said anything. Yeah, um, when I say pseudo linear, some games like there'll be like a big skybox and like big open areas, but like you, you're, you're basically still just going straight. All right, time to fight. Very floaty combat, doesn't feel like there's any weight to it at all. numbers on your screen so you can just feel like you're doing some some, some big damage. So this is a tutorial. So Gruda soldier. And yeah, look you play Final Fantasy you know who Gruda is. Let's see with that shit. I do like the combat's okay for the most part, but it's very floaty. And, and like in a way that my character is kinda like inaccurate with his hits via the fact that he's kind of floating around more so than being accurate. Uh, 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 
wonder how good the translation is. Sometimes when it comes to some of these games, the translations be really, really bad. When it comes to like the Chinese to, to English subtitles. You know, like what a lot of the developers would do is they'll just like put like the words into Google Translate and shit like that, and then just like, all right, it's translation. And a lot of the times, like, who are native to China will be like, you know, that's not what that word means, or that's not what that word translates to in English. It does look good though. Like I said it, it, it definitely. It feels like Swords of Legends Online and Gujian. And Gujian and Swords of Legends are in the same freaking. They're, they're the same games, essentially. Mm. Quick time events. If this game's like really good, like if I'm gonna join this beta, I'll, I'll definitely get it. Yeah, I'm a big fan of, of supporting games that I feel like deserve the money. And also, I wanna see more. Chinese and Korean and Japanese games on, on Xbox. Xbox lacks uh, Asian games. Mostly because Asian developers feel like Xbox games don't really... Um, Xbox, not Xbox games, but Xbox gamers don't really play them, which you don't. Usually the, the, the console platforms who, who sell the, the, the least amount um, is Xbox. That was a nice move. Hold, hold on, wait a minute. Which I think the, the the reason why that's a thing is because people who play games like PlayStation and Nintendo, they're used to Japanese and Chinese games, whereas Xbox players are used to just playing shooters all the time. And they don't really get outside their box. Like now I was wait now it's my teens. My teens, I didn't really play a lot of um other games. I basically only played sport games, fighting games, and, and shooters. That's all I played. And then Mass Effect came out, and I was like, okay, I'll play this. Now that's that was my like my, my intro into freaking RPGs. And I was like, this is cool. I want to play more games like that. And then I play Dragon Age, and then I play like Skyrim. No, I played Oblivion, and I played Skyrim, obviously. So I feel like that's, that's how a lot of players on on this platform are. So they they just play sport games and shooters, and they don't ever like try to, you know, try out other games. Like we're supposed to be running from something, but there's nothing behind us other than like the lava. So we're gonna have better seeing if there's actually something chasing us. The Ruta King. Woo child. On the other side. Definitely like a I would say not the greatest um introduction to the game. Like if I was them, I would have dissed that that's not this hand holdy. Like Ideally, when it comes to a demo or beta, you want to give people like what's called a vertical slice, but essentially you also want to give them like, you know, a good feeling of the game's story as well, not just this combat, not just overrunning from things. You got special abilities? That's what this one does. It's like an ore hand. Getting a little greedy there. I oh, gotta do a perfect dodge. I can't see. That camera angle's not not good. No, we're fine. It doesn't really matter. I had to answer a question. I'm trying to understand like what the one we do with this, with this perfect parry. Perfect dodge. It'd be easier if the camera didn't do that. 
I mean, finally got it after the game stopped putting this, this bunker like in my face. Like, like the, the camera tilt definitely is not our friend. I feel like it's so far. But, you know. Is it, I don't like my hand being held too much in games. You know, I'm being like super reckless right now. I couldn't move. This game definitely has like very wonky uh, combat. I couldn't move. Like, there's kind of like a vortex um, for the combat that exists where you kind of just don't get a chance to like actually react. Let's see what that shit player. Ganked, homie. I will say the cinematics kind of are cool. I will say, pull the, pull the camera back a little bit. The camera is a little too zoomed in with cinematics. Calm the fuck down. You just look a hole in a fucking fabric of space with his fucking sword. No. Or for plot reasons, they can't figure continue through. This game lacks context. They should have had like some kind of like open and cinematic for this game that will like at least get you understanding the, the game's story. Like yeah, it's a demo, but you still want to you want to give people a reason to buy the game. And if someone's like me and they're big in the story, they're gonna want to like have some kind of like. I want to see like some story related to it to see if the, to, if the story is any good. Yeah, Phil Simpson's this game loud. I like Call of Duty. I'd also say kind of move the subtitles up a little bit. I have to like look all the way down on my screen to freaking to see the subtitles. A little low. They have to be like in the middle of my freaking screen, but just a little higher. Just ease up a little bit, so I have to like look all the way down. The water physics look so freaking two thousand freaking six. I feel like where Spence right now is the story. Like he's he's telling us basically like what's going on. So instead of like a cutscene, we're getting we're, the players reading, the characters reading to us, like exposition. All this is this is all just exposition. They should have cut this up into like multiple like moments of the game. Like you had that tutorial open in a second. You should have like took it somewhere else. 
like more open, more out in the open as you do with the open environment looks like. Anime sword clash. So, and your head glow. This guy kind of looks pretty cool. One glow. Oh, damn, you got cut, my dude. Oh, he, oh, he's getting his ass beat. God damn. Oh, man. It's nice to look at. It's a, a nice fight to watch. If you want to watch a fight. There's no blood, apparently. Well, I think that's it's, it's a Chinese game. They, they tend to, to censor out that kind of stuff. This man's like the king of running. Yeah, he said, not this time, boy. You thought I'd just dip out of here. Oh, shit. Yeah, you know, he just got his ass beat. That was a good thing. That was a good scene to watch. He just got his, like, beat the brakes off him. His his outfit looks cool as shit. His character design looks cool as shit in general. Damn, he beat your ass and took your sword. Then he spared your life. Oof. The ultimate insult injury. Beat your ass, take your great sword, and spare you. For plot reasons, obviously, you know, just by like a plot reasons where like your character has to like, heal up and get better, you know, fa face him later in the game, beat his ass, get your sword back. Like the lo locale. We need to see more Chinese games. By Chinese, I mean like see more, you know, the Dynasty Warriors era, Three Kingdoms era. Um, got with the with the actual like word. There's a word. I think it starts with a W or X. Thought it was, like just ancient China. There's not enough video games that depict ancient China. There's so many games that predict like Nordic mythology and freaking Japanese culture, feudal Japan, things like that. There's not enough games that, that depict ancient China. We need more than these, like this. I feel like Dynasty Wars is like the only one that's like massively successful, you know, on the western side of the planet. And Dynasty Wars is really all that great. Like it's good, you just want to only have like large scale battles and like endless people dying with no context and no real story. When it comes to, like an actual solid storytelling RPG, it's lacking. You know? Gucci is a good game. I wish that could like become a bigger game here in the US. Big ass bird. That was cool though. The color scheme. Nice legs. Yeah, how them little ass wings carrying all that weight? Out of eye. Nice lips. Alright. <laughs> I think it's her now. Is that a straight sword? Change your abilities. Pretty bright. A cyan sword. Name's Yu Guinshu. No, it's not wrong. Apologies. The Altais.
There's like a buff. Seems like the energy in the body to heal the wound quickly, so it, it heals you. A little stuttery. You couldn't even walk far before it like gets in the cutscene. I like her design. What are the actual like word you use for these creatures were? I doubt it was monsters. It's like a trans probably like something they just translated to monsters so it sounds before Americans. These designs are really nice for the enemy. They're, they're, they seem very varied. Ooh, that's a beautiful sword. Do this shit. This game does not allow you to basically do anything when it comes to... Uh, like, if you get hit while you're trying to dodge, there's no, like, iframes or anything like that. You just get hit. You get, you get caught. You get dodge. So you gotta, like, basically dodge before, like... More so, more before, because these usually becomes like a dodge in a video game. What you try to do, you try to dodge at the perfect time, as in like, you see like they're getting ready to hit you, that's when you dodge. And this game's like you gotta dodge a little bit quicker than that. I'm you get hit. You kill like in the, what I like to call a video game vortex. The game hard are start recognizing that you want to get hit, so it, it keeps you getting hit. I'm going apple. Some big brown eyes. I mean, just don't bite it. You know, it doesn't have to last time someone freaking bought a freaking app, apple that, you know, feel the power. Like the foliage. Game looks good. It looks a little old when it comes to like you know, the, the, the graphics, obviously, but not like unplayable. It seems like, you know, either A, this game itself is kind of like a, maybe like a, a, a port of the game that came out a few years ago. And not something that was like just built from the ground up to, to on the platform. But also, you know, it could just be a budget thing. But it does seem like this is actually more open world than I thought it would be. Because we can... Like the missions are telling us to go like back. We can go over here and pick up stuff. It seems like a little empty though. Like there's a oh, oh, invisible wall. And maybe you can go over there later on because her dialogue kind of like makes it seem like you know um, you can go over there if you weren't dealing with a mission. So far, I'm really enjoying this, though. So right there, I hit the dodge button, but like there's like a vortex on like, you're already about to get hit, so the game's gonna count that as you're getting hit. You waited too long to hit the dodge. Also, I would much rather the lock on be left stick and not right stick. Most games do left stick. And it's better to just have like a universal kind of like lock on system. I hit the wrong button there. I kind of got to hit during that. That tells me that there's no iframes in this game.
other than like you know being the hit right trigger to do like special abilities it's definitely very hacky slashy which again there's there's room for a game that you know is very simplistic with combat you don't have to have a world beater in, con in, in combat you know you don't have to reinvent the wheel or you know copy paste the souls formula things like that which a lot of games a lot of games just copy paste the souls formula and also combat it's just basic action combat What up, folks? The fuck? The Alfang? I typed to talk to the kids, and the dude behind me is talking. The only the first line of dialogue is actually like written by voice actor. Get the mall stone. I don't know if I come up here just, yeah. Give me this shit, my dude. Shit, I mean, I mean if you punch shot me. I saw that attack coming, hit the button to dodge out the way. Yeah, fuck, like there's a war tank, so I'm gonna dodge this. It's like that wind up, like you can time it. You can time that wind up like pretty, pretty fine. Maybe just directional. Sometimes when I hit the dodge button, I just hit B e and not a direction. So the game probably is like, you don't know where frequently you want to dodge, so. Can't see. Just finish them all. Alright. This game might be actually older than both those games. Hello? Is anybody here? Friendly other people who look like her. That's some old master witch looking motherfucker. Yeah, yeah. You're doing something. Hey, sonder, get your I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That guy really struggled with that note. Right, but he said. I'm kind of curious. Kian 早就也被凶兽毁了 Hello, is there a paladin over here? Oh, you are getting your ass beat. Hey, yo, back off your vans. Ooh, miss me with that shit. Ace despair. Ow, you actually landed that. He's vine whip. Wasn't super effective, but it hit me.
I guess you don't have like actual dialogue dialogue. I read your text. Yeah, I'm, I'm lazy as fuck. I'm straight Shikamaru today. Look, you ain't that hurt. Alright, so where we're going is over her. I wonder if that's like back through that way. We're gonna make it go from here. It's more local. That's your friend? Bad. They're, they're, they're dead. You can stop attacking. Anything else over here? Something glowing over here. You need to have chests. Be a nice spot for a chest right there. Bring back the ore to Uncle Pong. Sure. You jump pretty high. Out of you. You got hops. For a demo, there's a lot of like irrelevant tasks to be doing. You don't really see a lot of games that have you do like a lot of relevant tasks, but it's a good depiction of what the gameplay of the actual game would be, so it's not a bad thing. Most games, like I said, they give you like a vertical slice, which is meant to like draw you in by showing you all the cool stuff and none like the you know, the day-to-day. -day. The day-to-day -day stuff in video games is usually a kind of a turn-off for a lot of people. You can make me sword better? Yes, I want my tech up. Can, can, can we go here, too? Okay. Look at us. Upgrade both things, not just one thing. Do so I have a, more stuff? So we can just we can just keep going. Like, uh, uh, that is highest level. Not even fuck. Go back to the, the little Minshu sec. Found some coin. Let's not take it to like the lost and found or anything like that. Let's just keep it for ourselves. Straight. Oh, fall. Pidgeotto got a small child. And now it's time to swallow and chase Pidgeotto down. Probably the chosen child I was mentioning earlier. Pidgeotto used dive. Yo, right in the face. Look at you being a hero and whatnot. Putting yourself in danger for this unknown child. They would just spawn a Satan fall, you know. Just sitting here saving the Antichrist. With us all.
Yes, that's 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 my exact reaction to being like waking up into a hot chick's arms. The screaming panic. Hey, Chiao 那个，请说。姐姐，拜托你了，让我留下来吧。我从小就被关在屋子里，都没出去玩过。求求你了，孙女儿啊，天师门这干的。He's called her granddaughter, like she got no name.你就不能留娃娃几天吗？ 你说你被关起来。Can you imagine your grandparents like didn't call you by your by your nickname or your actual name? They call you child. Like you grandson, go do this. What? You have about fourteen grandkids. You要是不说，我只能现在就把你送回去。啊，别别！好吧，掌门说我身子虚弱，需要留在塔里，不能离开。Right. That's what I said. Right.我知道明天是初一，是初四会的日子。每到这时，就会很热闹的。可是我只能在塔里远远的看着。不行，你们掌门既然让你在塔里静养，证明你身体很虚弱，或许患疾。若出事了就晚了。我现在就把你送
to she. She fast as fuck. Hot as fuck too. That outfit design. Oh, damn. And the makeup too. This is how you design a badass looking character. This will cost you like 60 bucks. It feels like a gacha game. If you're playing like Genshin or Tower of Fantasy with this kind of character, you know, you have to like break the bank. Spend $100. Some texture pop ins on freaking your nails. Time for a fight. Got another take part in. Sit here and watch. Just like Gohan, first thoughts to cry. I'd be like, "Yo, this is fun as fuck." Blocking your hits with a fucking guitar, my dude. <laughs> yeah, you're mad stroke, you stay in the house before you get your ass killed. You get all that can't take all this combat. She she hitting the, the, the big strats. She going to fool Mick Thompson. All slip not. She pulling out the good stuff. She, she going to fool Herman Lee right now. Wow, she's trying to play through Fire and the Flames. He threw a sword to her. There goes the old man. I can see the future. You're not in it. And this would be like the part of the story where the player replay, the person we played as now have like an emotional reason to freaking kick that chick's ass. You killed my grandfather. Reminds me of freaking the, the guy from um, Princess Bride. That was what I was saying was. Like he says it's like his name. Kill my father. No, that's not supposed to seem Princess Pride. Yeah. Your healing powers ain't very good, it seems. You're a bad healer. Oh, you got a, a second healer. Oh shit. This kid said, watch this. Your level one healing skills ain't shit compared to my level 10. bought all the freaking uh, pay to win stuff all the upgrades get your old ass up man that dare kid ain't a normal ass kid And take your little ass back to sleep. You're confused. You 
basically dawdle, man. Kind of like he reversed time, but it's like a a sector kind of reverse time. So like it's just reverse the entirety of time just at one little area. There's danger. Let's get to that danger. I think a little force field longer thing. There's Eva LaFoot. button to hit the X. Ah, slut. Everyone should be fine. I have protected you. The evil is gone. Coming, run. I want to pick up this item up right here. He's a big match down with himself. He seemed tired. Working at cardio. Swallow use gust. Electrical shot gust. It was super effective. Yeah, you smelly ox demon. You know, if you fly higher, it'd be a little easier for you to escape them. Find a little, just one little hop, you could hit y'all. Root that tree, is anything by a standard? The fact that you thought that would work is pretty silly. How nice to hand wait for you to wake up. Like, I'm sure the Pokemon will be fine. Pretty much yourself. Very conveniently plays rock. See, so you've recharged your strength, my dude. Yo, 
man got the freaking powers of the witcher calling. Out of Toast Father. At that middle toast speed. Man said, you sit here. I got this. Put this bitch on his back. You have an ox tail tonight. Yo, did you even ask you for a sword? Rude. A lot of shit. You got two abilities. Bloody. Yes, I was right there, but now I'm not. This is like an overhand. I used to be right there, but now I'm not. So it takes overhand. Now you have a habit of missing your your, your target. I used to be right there too, but now I'm not. He's angry. I'm so glad you attack in such an obvious pattern. There's a wall right there, my dude. Are you good? Angry. You're using freaking a lot of speed now. And that, that Bobby Brown, correct? He missed our shot. Oh, he got more range now. Sir. Jump! I'm hitting A to jump, game. You failed me horribly right there, game. sound the sound is bugged right now it's making the sound as if that little bull thing is still running when it's not you fix your coughing problem you no longer have the rona Imply potential romance situation. What? 
the audio build is kind of annoying. Okay, it's just the angle. The angle made him look like a freaking giant baby. The big boy deity speaks to the child. Someone catch the child, be hilarious as fuck with Bone Coddle. Like, dang, but is it his ashes fall? Yes, we're going right into the abyss of the Aunt's Demon is. Thank you for playing the, the, the demo. Looking forward to seeing you at the official launch. The audio bug is still there even in this scene. 